because this is the logo that we're going for. Finally sanded. The bumps are still there. Remember, we're not seeking perfection. We're seeking enjoyment. So Max, do you know what we're doing here? We're gonna spray paint this helmet a different color. Wait, are you gonna spray paint that a different color? Are you gonna make it a steampunk? Exactly. So, what paints do we have? We have white. Because I don't want anything to be wrinkled. We have Rustoleum. White and blue, yeah. That's what we're working with here. Uh, the blue for the the bird. The green will be painted on. Trem clad. We're going to use some fine brushes to do our application. Do we need to put any goo on this? I think it's fine. It's fine. Sandpaper. Took it away. That's great. Can I take it off? Yes. Thank you for wearing it. Oh, Daddy smells so okay. good. And now we're going to mask it. So we've got the blue top layer down in a glossy spray paint. Jack has hand painted this glossy green stripe on the bottom. The gap between these two colors is going to be white. And I've just used a bit of Goo Gone and Q-tips to take off a little bit of the extra paint there so that the white will cover a bit easier. Now I'm going to dry it with a hair dryer uh, before we continue. So we've got the Seattle Seahawks helmet with uh, a metallic blue, a forest green, hand-painted eye, and what's left is to do this silver line here in blue, and there's also a pencil line right there. I'll do in blue with this fine thing. That's what the other side looks like at the moment. Yeah. Got the spray paint inside here, a bit of the blue. Kind of coming along okay. Let's switch to the other side while that dries. I've got a heater. Got a heater right there. Whoa, awesome. So here is the final product. That is a 70s era Seattle Seahawks helmet a la Steve Largent. Not bad. Next to photos of Max and Jack, right here, in their bedroom. And there is its new home. <laughs>